gathering so I think we will spend this night drinking and partying and looking at car here so I uh, think maybe we can do as we usually do just a regular walk around in the area and see what they have in the car and now we show you around and after that I think I will make some food and start drinking all right funny thing is that in Asia the Volvo is uh, pretty rare and uh, they have a really high value but for example if, if example if you go to Thailand you will not see a Volvo with a Volvo engine you will always see a Volvo with a 2JZ or 1JZ they tend to swap all Volvos they import so yeah, and uh, actually I had a friend who uh, had a swap kit uh, for a 2J uh, Volvo here in Sweden and the uh, kit was actually from Thailand so I think uh, that says a lot. Alright. start to be very expensive now so I guess I will never have one was actually not so expensive car a few years ago but now they tend to go up in price like everywhere in the world I think uh, a few years ago you could buy one for around 5,000 US dollar but I think uh, you will have far hard to find one in that price range nowadays so 
have one friend in, in back in Bangkok who has one with the two J swap, and he runs it on the street with 800 horsepower. So it's uh, yeah. <laughs> So it's just a big hassle to to maintain the car, I think. Oh, that was the owner. Maybe he started up. Or maybe not. this uh, kind of white boy kit on the on the BMW it's look, look pretty badass I'm not sure he's planning to do it, just as an exhibition car or something, but yeah. Would actually be nice to see uh, GT86 also on the on the track. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the stock, but maybe just some upgraded uh, aerodynamics or something. But yeah, could be nice. and uh, just cracking on with some cigars and some rum and uh, there's a lot of car here and a lot of people so it's uh, good vibes uh, I don't know if, if uh, other places have the same problem here it's no problem but in, in some, some uh, car gatherings here in Sweden we have big problem with uh, a lot of littering and uh, drunk people and all kind of shit so Victor and another guy has arranged this uh, this uh, car event so to say and uh, even if 
people are drinking and having a lot of fun. We kind of clean everything up, so it's not like vandalized and, and uh, stupid drunk people and doing a lot of stupid shit, you know. Uh, so it's nice. Uh, I think uh, lately there has been a lot of issues about this in, in media. Uh, some some uh, people that arrange meetings are not actually in for a car meeting, they're more into the party. And it's a shame because uh, that's not what car culture is about, in my opinion, anyway. <laughs> Right, we can uh, have some more look around in the area and uh, hopefully they will do some more burners and stuff like this because it's always nice to see. Ska vi intervjua dig? Vad ska vi intervjua dig om? Vad ska vi göra då? Men berätta om vad du har arrangerat. Och varför? Ja, för att corona är fan fucking med den här året. Så då vill vi ha en en ordentlig träff utan massa jävla skitbilar. Inga äppel, inga inåt. Ingen klamydia träff. Ingen klamydia träff. Nej, men... Det är skitbra, det, är kul. det kommer bara bra folk och inga jävla skräp. Det är verkligen inga skräp bara idag. Nej, det är väldigt bra. Ja. Men nästa år då blir det fast svårt för att toppa det här. Ja, det blir det. Så då måste jag krura ut något värre. Ja. Det är alltså det var kul om det var lite fler bilar som gjorde burnouts. Ja, men folk äger för mycket det. Ja. Nu är det någon som börnar, men eh, jag har börnat slut på mina däck. Ja, jag sätter. Men, men eh, nästa år då kommer det jävligt mycket börn. Vad har du för motor i den här bilen? Det är bara en 318, den är så jävla dålig. Så det är typ 200. one of the guy who actually arranged this meeting and uh, if I can translate uh, no I can't I can't try I'll, I'll make subtitles instead one thing I can tell and uh, this uh, area here and the road here is actually on private roads so it's not a uh, public road so and we have uh, kind of sealed the road also we actually allowed to do burnouts and stuff like this so there's no uh, how to say illegal driving here and uh, also one thing that's very important to state that everyone who is actually driving the car has not been drinking so yeah 
it's uh, a lot of good people. And you can see, it's a lot of good whites there, so. Huh. I just want to point that out, so. If some, some people are gonna freak out that we, they're making some lunches and burners on, on this road, it's, it's not on a public road, so. because he has no JDM car, so that's ah. why. <laughs> oh yeah, you're saying both. <laughs>
speaking people don't understand. some kind of Swedish poetry, I don't know. I think uh, that's a wrap for tonight. And uh, I hope this uh, vlog will come out nice. I think uh, I just put some clip together and we see what's end up in it. Anyway, I think uh, the arrangement of this uh, kind of gar garage meeting is pretty awesome and uh, this will most likely be the last one for this season or this year so I hope uh, we can have some more next year and uh, yeah it's a good place right I don't know what to say so I just fucking stop and talk and get my bicycle and go home <laughs>